Every day, every second, all around our world, people are showing others that they love them. But we don't always have to show we care by hugs and kisses. Many times, dudes, uh -huh. all we have to do is listen to what someone has to say. Okay. And that's what cool Christians in Guayaquil, Ecuador are doing. When the people of Guayaquil are feeling sad or when they just can't seem to find a solution to their problems, all they have to do is pick up the phone and call Teleamigo. It's a counseling center that's working hard to share the love of Jesus Christ with the people who call. But they don't just listen. Teleamigo workers also pray. They make sure that each person that calls in gets prayed for. And whoa, dudes, these people do some serious praying. They also go to schools and talk to the young dudes and dudettes about how they can live a life that pleases God. And Teleomigo workers also take the time to share the love of Jesus with teenagers who are stuck in prison. This guy's name is Darwin. Not long ago, he was serving time for doing some really bad things. Then, one day, our friends at Teleomigo came to share Jesus with him. Darwin became a Christian, and now he teaches other prisoners about how Jesus can save them too. And hey, Mission Dudesters, there's more. With the thousands of people who are seeking God through Teleomigo, they're going to need a church. And that's where this hombre comes in. His name is Guy Muse, and he's a Southern Baptist missionary who's working hard to start new churches. The new exciting thing about Tele Amigo is, is what we're trying to do today, which is to incorporate these new people and start house churches. And so the thing that everyone has here is a home, a house, a place. And so the logical thing is, is to begin churches where the people are. No doubt about it. God is awesome. And because the dudes at Tele Amigo are totally grounded in pleasing Him, they're being blessed big time. Many people are coming to know Jesus as their Savior. And remember, Mission Dudes, it all began because they started by simply listening to people. I gotcha. Isn't it nice to know that Christians in Ecuador are doing just as the Lord commands throughout the Bible? Love your neighbor as yourself.